Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2008 Nissan Frontier. So here we're going to have the Tecancha, which is going to give us a 7 pole at the end of our vehicle. And then here we're going to have the Kurt, which is also going to give us a 7 pole. And then here we have the Tecancha, which is going to give us a 4 pole. And then finally the Kurt, that's going to give us a 4 pole flat. Now the main difference between all of our wiring kits is going to be the end connector. Now, both of our kits here, the Kurt and the Tecancha, are both gonna give us a seven pole flat and not only give us our required lights, but they're also gonna give us control of our brakes and a 12 volt power source coming out. Our Tecancha and our Kurt that are gonna give us our four pole flat will give us all of our required lights, such as our taillights, brakes, and turn signals, but we're not gonna have any control over our brakes. Now these aren't the only kits available for your Frontier, but what's gonna set these apart from all the other ones is that they do come with the required relays so that the connector at the end of your vehicle will light up the lights on your trailer. So if you're towing a small trailer where you only need the lights and you don't need a brake controller activator or anything like that, I think the Kurt and the Tecancha four pole connectors would be a good option because if we're not using a brake controller, this is still gonna have all the required functions to get our lights working. On the other hand, if you are towing a heavy trailer where you do have a brake controller hooked up or if you need your reverse lights or anything like that, I think the seven way is gonna be the way to go because you are gonna have those extra functions as well as more amperage coming out. The way our harness is gonna install for each one of these is gonna be relatively the same. It's gonna be a two piece harness. So on one end, which is gonna to be towards the back of our vehicle is gonna to connect to a connector. And then we're gonna take our harness here and we're gonna to go to the inside of our cab. And on the passenger side, there's gonna be a kick panel that we need to remove, and we're gonna plug it in and plug our relays in. Now the design between our Tecancha and our Kurt are gonna be very similar, and they're gonna install exactly the same. Now really the only major difference that we're gonna notice is gonna be the dust cover on our four pole flat on the end. On the Kurt, it is removable and replaceable, whereas the Tecancha, it is built in. Another nice but small feature that the Tecancha has with our four pole is they do provide us with some of this foam double-sided tape so that when we install our relays, we can actually wrap the foam around it, which will prevent any rattling or any noise behind our kick panel. So if all you need is the lights on your trailer, I think our Tecancha or the Kurt is a good choice to make sure that you can go down the road safely. Our Tecancha and Kurt 7-way harnesses are going to have a lot of the same features. They're both going to come with all the relays and harnesses in the split section that we mentioned before, and it's going to come with all the hardware necessary to get it installed. Now one thing I do want to mention when we get ready to install our 7-way wiring, whether it be the Tecancha or the Kurt, we're going to need to find a spot and a bracket to mount our socket. Now, we have several different options available, but if you need one, you can pick one up on our website using part number PK12711U. Now, our seven-way harnesses are gonna install exactly the same. We're gonna have a harness and relays that are gonna go behind the kick panel, but since it does have some more features than our four pole, we're gonna have two connectors at the back of our frame rail that we're gonna need to plug in. Another small but nice feature of our Tecancha 7-way is that it does come with a double-sided foam tape, so hopefully it helps keep down the noise from the relays rattling behind the panel. So if you are towing a rather heavy trailer and you need those trailer brake controls as well as your lights, I think either one of these 7-way wiring harnesses is going to be a good choice for you. So to sum everything up, all of our wiring harnesses are going to install basically the same, and they're all going to give us the lights that are required when we're driving down the road. And if that's all you need, I really think that either one of the Tecancha or Kurt four pole flat trailer connectors would be a good choice. But if you do heavier duty towing and you need a brake controller, I think either of our seven way wiring harnesses would be a good choice as well. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Nissan Frontier. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.